Hello, and welcome to Pro Trader Strategies Market Commentary for Wednesday, December the 9th. My name's Eric Wilkinson. Some of you may recognize me as the Wolfman from CNBC, Fox Business, or even the Wall Street Journal, where I've commented on everything from economic to geopolitical and market analysis. Please keep in mind that everything that we talk about in these daily market commentaries is not a solicitation to buy or sell any of these securities or strategies. At the end of the day, we're here to teach you some different strategies that you can implement into your own portfolios, but please do that in your own way. The reason why I can't give you a recommendation on a particular stock or strategy is because I don't know your risk parameters. I don't know what's in your portfolios. Therefore, what I'm doing could be counterintuitive to what you are already doing. All right, having that out of the way, let's get this on. Uh, we have had some economic data come out today. Wholesale inventories came in a little bit lower than expected, but uh, you know that kind of is in line with you know the production and manufacturing we've been talking about. Uh, the one surprising thing that came out today was crude oil inventories came in at uh, 0.7 or was expected at 0.7 million or a half a million barrels uh, of a build. And it came in at a drawdown of 3.6 million barrels of oil. So that would make one think that oil was going to rally. But we'll get into that a little bit later. Right now, uh, off the morning, uh, NASDAQ, E-mini NASDAQ, as you can see here on the chart, rallied up. But now we are down near the lows of the day. It still hasn't covered the overnight lows uh, that we're seeing. But right, as you can see here, around 7 o'clock, this is the E-mini S&P chart. Uh, this morning, before the open, we printed some lows and then off the open, just skyrocketed higher, went into positive territory, but now we are uh, starting to uh, retrace and go into negative territory right there at the value area for the last several days. And as you can see, we came down and touched the value area low also, but the overnight low is a little bit lower. So we'll have to see if we go down there and retrace that. Usually the markets like to print those overnight lows in the day session. So we'll see if that happens. Uh, this is a chart of the crude oil right now. Uh, as you can see, we're actually gone into negative territory. If I go into the uh, 15 minute chart, you can see that off the off that uh, data, the market really sparked, spiked higher, tested that $39 a barrel oil, and I thought it was going to probably go up and test the $40 a barrel oil mark, but uh, it didn't. We've since sold off. It's just the uh, haterade and the commodity is still intact, so we'll have to see. It came down and we're just off the lows there in crude oil, so uh, we'll see. A uh, couple of trades that I put on right now, JP Morgan. Uh, I looked at a couple of, or I actually took this trade off yesterday, sorry, and you can probably take it off a little bit better today. Uh, JP Morgan, I had on the December uh, 67, 63 and a half put spread, and I originally paid a debit of 96 cents for it, was able to get out of it yesterday for $1.31. And you could probably cover that for a little bit better than what I did. Probably get a little bit better uh, uh, premium for that today. It's just a little bit lower. So uh, on to what I've done today. And J&J, &J, uh, as you can see, the historical high is right here around uh, $108. But it's really been pressing up against this, you know, 103 to 104 area. It hasn't really tested 104, but that... As you can see, a line right there has been uh, a resistance area. So that 103.39-ish area, and we came up and tested that again today, uh, but has since sold off. So it just looks like it's going to kind of want to trend along this. J&J &J has a history of just staying in a sideways market. And now that we've come back up into this uh, channel, so to speak, from 103 to uh, the the hundred dollar area it looks like it's going to want to stay in that area again i think so with j and j it's a solid stock but uh having said that i do think it was going to pull off a little bit there and i put on a debit spread in here as well and did the january uh 105 100 put spread so i bought the 105s sold the 100 puts and did it as a debit spread 
for a dollar uh, 93 on that so uh, I'm hoping that it wants to come down and test this hundred dollar area so at least the low end of this trending line so we'll see the other thing uh, you know uh, another one that was at historical highs here is McDonald's they really had a spike higher off of the uh, all-day breakfast and I think that there's going to be some longs that have a, just can't help themselves but to cover and hopefully we will see a little bit of a pullback in that as well so that's what I'm looking at for this trade it's just had a nice run uh, the overall economy is not doing that great I think that the all-day breakfast will kind of soon uh, wear off in its uh, novelty and maybe see a bit of a pullback when we get some profit taking going on in there as well so I did a January debit spread as well and I uh, bought the 120 puts and sold the 115 puts so hopefully we can get it to come back down here and at least get into this area here to uh, collect a little bit more premium so uh, I did this as a debit spread like I said and I paid two dollars and 44 cents for that so those are the trades that I put on today uh, Friday's webinar we're going to be doing it on um, on some puts and how to uh, use them in lieu of the stops. The NYSE has gotten rid of stop orders. So for people that aren't in the market all the time, want to protect some gains, say for instance, you were long uh, uh, McDonald's and with this big spike up, where would you buy these puts? What would be the most value for you? And how do you select those different strike prices in order to put on some insurance to cover you for the downside? Uh, if you are long puts, it will act just like a stop except for when the market has a bit of a uh, sell-off and then a rebound you aren't necessarily stopped out so you're not having to get back into that stock and chase it to get back into something that may have been in your core position so this gives you a little bit of uh, breathing room and lets you sleep better at night than rather than constantly checking to see if your stop got hit uh, every day so you do have to pay a little bit for that peace of mind but the thing is is if it comes down and would normally hit your stop that put doesn't necessarily get you out of that stock you still have uh, the right but not the obligation to uh, get out of that so you it gives you a little bit of time so if the market comes off and stays off then you can get out of that stock at your strike price but if the market comes off and then comes back up again and starts rallying continue to participate in that rally so we're going to be talking about where you pick those strikes all the rules that go into that and uh, that should be a good one also on Monday I'm going to be doing this round table uh, with the guys from uh, timing research show so you can either go to protraderstrategies.com and sign up for that or go to timing research uh, show and uh, check it out from there you can sign up for that round table we're going to probably talk about everything from what we see happening for the oncoming week what the fed is going to do and what our favorite trades are so that's a really good one it's really fun so go to protraderstrategies.com check out the webinar and or that uh round table all right that's all i got for you guys today if you can't take that take it easy